What's up guys, it's your girl, she's priceless. And I'm back here with another video. <laughs> So today's video is going to be a woke Wednesday and this is my second woke Wednesday proud of Elise because she is filming this and she's going to get this up on time. Let's go. So I don't know if you guys heard in last week's um, news, where you get your source of news from, about <laughs> Dove and the recent commercial that they previewed on Facebook but they quickly snatch that right off the right off the interwebs. Dove decided to have a commercial of a black girl with like a brown shirt on taking it off and she had a white shirt on but like when she had like taking it off with the white shirt but then like when she took the shirt off she turned to a white girl and like first of all but wait there's more and then the commercial proceeded white girl turned into a latino with like a like a dark shirt on then a light one so first of all Dove knew exactly what they were doing like this ad is racist <laughs> you already know what this ad is like you already knew it was racist so why is a black girl taking shirt off turning to a white girl and you already knew they knew what they were doing because it didn't make sense to begin with so what what does a dark shirt have to do with taking why is the black girl first of all many issues the had on a brown t-shirt when she was taking it off you like you could see like the white t-shirt like underneath it so are you advertising soap or laundry detergent because if not then you're the notion that you're like getting across is that she's scrubbing the black off of her or like she's scrubbing this to get like scrubbing her brown skin to get clean and then the fact that she turned into a magically appeared as a white girl that's what racist ads used to do in the day like they I don't know if y'all heard that saw the um commercial about a black man getting to uh, a washing machine and then he he comes out and he's white I think that was in Singapore like, I just un understand if it was like Dove International or something because you could be like okay now y'all now y'all should know better but this is in the United States like you mean to tell me that these racist ads are coming again? Tell me that like when y'all were like going through this, going through this commercial, and you had to go through an entire board to like get a commercial approved and like get it on TV, right? You mean to tell me not one person saw something wrong with it? Like don't get me wrong, like there was probably some that like um my poli sci teacher told me this. She was like, there's probably one black girl sitting there like, um, I don't think this is a good idea. And like, because like this it just doesn't show like it's not a good idea, right? And then she was probably like, but it's okay. Yeah, I do this anyway. And now she probably sitting here like, mm, I told you so. And then they're probably like, why didn't you say anything? This, you, like, this is going to hurt our market, our company, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. So like, there's probably one person. I'll give them that. But like, you ain't see nothing wrong with this commercial. Like, all the people that reviewed it, nothing wrong with it. Mm, interesting. My thing is that they knew what they were doing like they had this black girl with the brown t-shirt on take it off and be white like with the white t-shirt and be white and like even when she was changing she had a white t-shirt underneath it so it was like representing purity and cleanliness like as if dark is non-clean like that's just racist it's so freaking racist and the shirt changing had nothing to do with the product had nothing to do with dove or soap like what that doesn't make sense but like, what does the shirt have to do with it? Like, why does it have to be a brown shirt turning to a white shirt? Like, it's crazy. And this is the second time Dove has messed up. Dove, when they had that, um, that thing that was like normal to dark skin. You mean to tell me normal to dark skin? As it's saying, like, white is the norm and dark is othering. Like, this is the second time they've had two racist mess ups. Like. This is the second time, so they know better. Like, they knew better, they've experienced this before, and there's actually no excuse for it. Like, absolutely none. Skin tone should not have been a part of the commercial at all. Like, I know Dove tries to be, like, inclusive or whatever, but, like, skin tone, it shouldn't have been a part of the commercial. Like, dark skin going to a white shirt, that should not have been a part of the commercial at all. Um... But like if you're saying like this t-shirt thing doesn't make sense let's flip the script around 
put a put the white girl before the black girl in the um put a white girl in a white t-shirt and then have her turn into a dark t-shirt and then let this see it turned to a black girl but then you probably like oh but that doesn't make sense exactly you know what you're doing you know what you're doing like that doesn't it doesn't make sense right because you know you're being racist you know it it's just crazy because you're selling soap not laundry detergent you're selling soap I'm gonna put my notes down my problem is that people like fail to see this I'm like oh they didn't mean it they didn't miss it like there was there's no way that you could have been like oh, that doesn't that doesn't seem right at all and it's just like there's already so much controversy within the beauty world like there's already this standard of like how race like white white has always been like the ideal beauty um like beauty figure and it's cra like it's so damaging to student like children like as a young girl like I remember Barbie dolls like there was barely any Barbie like like there weren't any there were barely any black Barbie dolls and then I used to always get brats but still like even with that there were like young girls like pick up they don't they don't see the the young black girls don't see themselves in the media I mean it's hard for black girls to get into the beauty industry in the first place and it's just like that happens and like you can't say anything about it because that girl probably would have got fired like, it's just crazy but like so what I want to talk about today is what to do when these situations happen you boycott you boycott dub don't buy any of their dub products I know people were like joking on Twitter they're like I'm gonna see why y'all boycotted dub I'm gonna give them I'm gonna hit them sales because they dropped the stuff. I'm like, you know what, do what you gotta do. But like, if you honestly care, this if this honestly offends you deeply, boycott the shit. <laughs> run them out of business. Like, you can't obviously run dub out of business. But like, hit them. Like, hit them and show like we're not gonna take this. Like, go invest in black products. Like, get start washing your body with black African soap. First of all, I'm gonna tell you all, black African soap is like the holy grail to like healing your skin acne acne scars hyperpigmentation it's just it's formulated for us so use it <laughs> and like i know it's a little oh shoot there it's not like a body wash or anything but like i'm telling you it, lo it looked kind of like weird but like it works miracles i'm telling you like my skin is like kind of been healing from it i'm like breaking out because i'm stressed out but it's okay midterms this week ah! but yeah um so yeah just boycott them hit them where it hurts like invest in black products and if you guys like want a list of products to, to use or like want a video about like black old products that i use um i'll do that but i just wanted to let you all know that like you all should continue to inform yourselves continue to um stay woke within the media like and get your sort like don't be one of those people that are like oh my that like get hear something and then like believe it like i had to read like i saw the commercial i saw people tweet about it so like i had to go read articles to like inform myself like i can't go based upon what um somebody posted on a tweet like 120 characters or 30 whatever however many characters it is like you have to do your research stay woke so this has been my woke wednesday for today thank you all for watching Please tune in. Keep me informed. Let me know what topics you guys want. What kind of videos you want. Homecoming coming up. So I'm going to be popping out for that. You feel me? <laughs> so yeah, I got so much great content coming out for you all. A um, couple vlogs. I've been filming a lot. But I haven't like been putting them together and doing all that good stuff. Because I like vlogs or whatever. I'm like my thing. But I don't know. I like people like my personality and stuff. So like. I might start doing that. <laughs> I'm working two jobs now and 15 credits. So we'll see how active YouTube stays. <laughs> but yeah, thank you all for watching and tuning in to my Woke Wednesday. Please give this video a big thumbs up. Share it with somebody. Please support me. I appreciate it so much. I love you all. And peace out. It's me and Girl She's Prices. Mwah.